these people were clueless about you. They thought they defeated you. Thought they were going to win over you. They thought that you was going to give up, but didn't realize it was never in you to give up. Victory has always been yours. Victory is still on your side. Victory is what got you where you are today. Yet these people are confused about your rise and elevation. You rising like a star before many people. You are a star in the making. People know you from areas that you least expect. They know you in different countries that you don't even know about because you were a star in the making. People didn't understand where you were going. People did not understand the gift God put in you. People didn't want to understand. It's not that they couldn't, they just didn't want to. When it came to you, they thought they were better than you. They thought they were bigger than you. They thought everything about you, but you were the one that was the best of them all. You help people to see life in a positive way, not negative. You help people to grow in their purpose by watching you as an example. You're helping people to flourish and trust God with their whole heart and not just by what they see in front of them. You help people step out on faith, yet these people are confused about you as a person. But that's not your concern. Victory is yours. And there's a gospel song about your victory. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Because victory today is mine. You should sing that song often because congratulations. Victory is surely yours. Now you can tell Satan get behind you and his people because you got the victory, hallelujah, over your life today. And people didn't know this. They didn't know that you had that type of victory. They didn't know that you was going to win these battles that was placed in front of you, these obstacles that was put in front of you by the enemy himself. The enemy put blocks, roadblocks in front of you. And you just, they fallen down. They fallen down like a Lego of blocks, just tumbling down in front of you because you got the victory. Everybody thought they had the victory over you and God surely did surprise these people. Surprise these people about you. <laughs> people don't know what to think about you no more. You're different. You're just different. You're not the same like everybody else. You are God's anointed chosen one. And if people can't see that you are God's chosen anointed one, they're not meant to be in your life too much longer. God might be giving you a exit out of a lot of people's lives because they did not recognize the chosen one like you, the anointed one like you in front of them. They refused to see it. They only saw how you looked, saw how you wore your hair, like mine in a ponytail. They saw how you wore your hair like that. They saw that you was like plain, plain Jane, as they call it. They didn't think you had no substance or value, but you you had a lot of strength. Strength come from the inside of you. And people are confused about who you are. Some people are literally just like this, just, well, we, we thought you were like this and we thought you were dumb. We thought you were not intelligent, but truth is you were more intelligent than them all. God just wants you to focus, put your focus in righteous, righteous things, not the wrong things, not worldly temptations. Cause it got you distracted for a moment, worldly temptations. Now God's saying, now he's putting your focus on heavenly things, other things that's important, saving souls, healing the sick, being a help to the poor. God got you on those type of assignments. He don't got you on assignments being foolish towards others, 
wishing people the worst for their lives, being a bully. God did not have that assignment for you, but yet these people operated like that. They wanted to be bullies. They wanted to be toxic. They wanted to be full of drama, full of mess, full of chaos. And that's what they still like to this day. God did not want that around you for too much longer because you had a bigger assignment. You had a bigger assignment over your life that you must have accomplished. And these people are confused about that. Let them be confused. Let them be mad about where you are and where you're going because you're truly going to do big things due to you being a star in the making. You are a star. Some of you get ready to be recognized on live TV, on television. People are going to know your name. People are going to know who you are because your name is going to be great in the earth. Because you are one of God's 144,000. This word ain't for everybody. No, no. This is specific. You will know when you hit 144,000. Because the Holy Spirit is going to confirm it to you. Who you are. You're going to know if you're the chosen one. Because you're going to know the fruit that you bear based off of what you do in your life. Not everybody can accept that chosen 144,000 title. I'm sorry. That's just not the times we're living in. But you, you know you that 144,000 that God is calling to do great things because you know there's something better for you to do to make this world a better place. You know you are the light that this world is supposed to see because the Holy Spirit has worked on you in your heart. That's how you would know. You're going to know because the Holy Spirit is going to confirm it to you. You don't have time to do what everybody else do. You don't have time to engage in foolish things like other people because you've got a bigger mission, a bigger purpose, a bigger assignment for your life. And you must get it done. And you will get it done because God's calling you to get it done. You don't have time to worry about haters. You don't have time to worry about people that just don't like you because they just don't like you. <laughs> you don't have time to worry about that at all. You only got time to focus on what's important. What's important is what's in front of you. The future. Where God have you to go. God might have you start your own business. Some of you are going to be starting your own business soon. God said, get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Because he got bigger plans for you. Even though we're in some perilous times, God said he got bigger plans for a royal one on today. He got something for you to do. And he said he'll be with you until the end of time. It might get weary. It might get, you know, you might not know what's going on at times. Put all your trust in God. Lean not on your own understanding and know that he's going to get you to where you need to go. You ain't got time to worry about these type of people that thought you was going to be defeated. They clearly thought they defeated you. Just ask the husband thought he defeated uh, Slim on the movie Enough. Y'all remember the movie Enough with Jennifer Lopez? The husband thought he defeated her at the end of the movie when he was kicking her and abusing her. But she wasn't defeated. She was a warrior. And then y'all know what happened at the end. If you haven't watched the movie enough, I suggest you go watch it. Jennifer Lopez is the main star. Shout out to Jennifer Lopez for, or J-Lo for making that movie because it was truly important. You were one of them people. The enemy thought they defeated you. But victory was truly on your side because you were a fighter. You were a fighter. <laughs> you didn't let people stop you as a person. You a true fighter at heart. You a true warrior. And a lot of people, they're starting to recognize it now. Because everything that should have defeated you got you stronger, got you better, got you wiser, and got you in a new elevated place. So what did them attacks do? What did these people do that was going to make you worse? It was nothing they could do because you were a warrior. The victory was on your side and now everybody's just like wow wow tell them to keep their bootstraps on 
because you got more to come. They got more to see from you. You're not finished yet. You haven't even got to the brink of your assignment that God wants for you to accomplish. You're just at the surface of it. You got to dig deep to where God wants you to go. Spend time with the Holy Spirit and dig deep for your life and see where you will be at in years to come. Because now you focus on righteous things and not the wrong things. These people couldn't go. They couldn't go with you. God got you on that straight and narrow path by yourself for a reason. Everybody just can't go. Everybody's not meant to go. They're not vibrating on the level or in the frequency like you vibrating on. They in low vibrational toxic energy. A lot of these people that you left. Pray for them. But continue to move forward in your purpose is all you can do. Because victory surely is yours. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Victory today is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Victory today is mine. Joy is mine. Joy is mine. Joy today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Because joy today is mine. I hope that song is an inspiration to somebody on today. You got victory. You got joy. You got peace. You got hope. Claim that today. Don't let the devil lie to you and put negative thoughts in your head. You got victory. You got joy. You got peace. You got abundance because you got the Holy Spirit in you. Let go of the doubt that the devil's trying to put in your mind. He always want to cast doubt into your mind. He will use people. He will use things situations to put doubt in your mind don't let the devil rain your coattail like that don't let him harass you the devil wants to harass you and god said no more harassment because you got victory there's no more harassing a person like you no you have authority in the spirit you have authority you could tell you could tell that thing to be quiet and it must obey you and your voice because you got authority in the spirit and this is why victory is yours because you got right the guy himself you were never defeated you were never one to give up they just thought you were but that just wasn't in you to give up because you know the power that works inside of you and that power is the holy spirit himself claim it today you truly got a gift when you got the Holy Spirit. He dwells on the inside of you. He lives on the inside of you. Appreciate the gift of the Holy Spirit because he didn't have to come onto you, but he did. He knew you was his. He stamped you with his presence. You know the Holy Spirit. You know it. This is why you listen to this video so long at the end. That's meant for this video. You know you got the Holy Spirit because he has revealed himself to you. And he's telling me to tell y'all today that victory is yours. You were never defeated. It looked like you were defeated to a lot of people, but you was never defeated. You shall rise again and rise again in glory and do some great things in this life. And that's the prophetic word I have for a royal one. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you like the content I'm putting on the channel, if this is your first time visiting, please like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily prophetic messages. Tune in with us for a Shabbat word most Saturdays at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I will see you there. Until next time, family. Bye-bye.